really easy way to help you your stripes kind of stay together is to use a walking foot or an even feed foot. Now an even feed foot or a walking foot, it helps the two layers of the fabric move under the presser foot at the same speed. Under here we have these little zigzag teeth. These are called feed dogs and they move when you create a stitch when you sew in. They move and they pull the fabric, so maybe that sort of motion, yeah. So they pull the fabric backwards through the machine. It is a walking foot. And it goes onto the machine and this bit goes around the needle. And as the needle goes up and down, these little plastic feed dogs so as the needle goes up and down, the plastic feed dogs help to pull the fabric through the foot. So I'll show you the, how to attach this to your sewing machine. Um, so you can use one to pull your fabric through. Um, so it helps pull the fabric through at the same speed. Unscrew the presser foot. Make sure your power is switched off. So usually if you can loosen that screw it's easiest to just fully unscrew it by hand. So just starting the screw off. So the black bit, the black plastic bit will go around there like that and you can just tighten up this screw. Give it another quarter turn. There we go. Okay, so the white bit here sits around this needle bar. As the needle goes up and down, so does the walking foot. When your foot is down, you're doing this walking motion. Your feed dogs will pull the fabric through at the same speed as the lower feed dogs. But if you're working with a stripe or something that needs to or tends to move about like a velvet, a walking foot is really key to helping you to feed the fabric through together. I told you that I would be using stitch A but I'm using stitch A on the dark side here, the triple stitch. Um, so it just sews a straight stitch, but it goes forward and back like a zigzag, but on one plane on top of each other, if that makes sense. Seam allowance is three-eighths of an inch, so that is the same as a centimetre. So we're keeping our fabric lined up with that line and removing the pins before we get to them. Okay. I'm just going to release some of that pressure on the presser foot. So this is how a walking foot can be used for to stop your fabric stretching out, moving at different speeds, top and bottom, 
and matching your stripes beautifully. Okay, so our stripes are nicely matched up along that seam line. You can see how beautifully that seam is all matched up now. Remember to like and subscribe to my channel for more great learn to sew videos that will help make you a better dressmaker.